Ethiopia just experienced several high-level political assassinations. This is the latest. I'm Peyton Knopf. Today I'm answering three burning questions about Ethiopia. What's the latest from Ethiopia following the recent assassinations? What these assassinations underscore is how volatile and tumultuous the transition currently underway in Ethiopia is. There is no blueprint for this transition to democracy uh, or for the peaceful contestation of power. And it is a very diverse and complex country with 105 million people where the stakes of this transition are huge. What does this mean for Ethiopia's hopes for reform under Abi? These assassinations underscore a number of existential questions facing the transition and Abiy's reform agenda. First and foremost, the security situation is clearly spinning out of control. When the chief of general staff is killed in his own home by his own bodyguard, something is wrong. Secondly, there is no clear blueprint for the elections that are scheduled for next year and the crisis of legitimacy facing the longtime ruling party nor is there an answer to what would replace that party in the event that it is not able to continue to hold power. How does this relate to the peace deal with Eritrea? The nascent rapprochement between Ethiopia and Eritrea is largely stalled. This is occurring in an increasingly chaotic regional environment where Sudan is also undergoing its own historic political transition and the war in Yemen grinds on increasingly without end. Should Ethiopia or Sudan or both of them simultaneously collapse. These would be the largest state collapses in modern history with huge implications for the United States, for its partners in Europe, and certainly for the region itself. 